All right, so I'm doing an extra live video today that I'm also going to be posting onto my YouTube channel. And due to the fact that we are in a unique situation, but also because it's that time of the year where graduations are happening. Some of them are happening through Zoom. Some of them are happening more than likely going to be virtual. Who knows? But maybe there might be a chance for graduation caps to be decorated at even the school I teach at. But I, don't, I digress. I don't really know. But I'm going to do a tutorial on how to actually do it. I think a practice that I've been doing for many years of decorating uh, graduation caps for students that have paid me through food. Yeah, that's the best payment. Um, so I'm going to show you the practice that I've actually uh, figured out for myself as to the easiest way to do a lot of different graduation caps um, in like a short span of time. I used to paint directly onto the mortar boards <clears throat> and that really wasn't um, easy because the mortar boards are made with uh, synthetics. So what I'm going to show you is a way to paint onto watercolor paper. So the one thing that I recommend that you do is if you want to make a custom decorated uh, graduation cap, get some watercolor paper. You can find this. This is Canson 140 pound weight cold press, and you're going to need at least um, 12 by 18 or lar or smaller, but nothing smaller than than maybe 13 by 14 or, or 12 by 14. This is a good size because you can get close to two caps out of it. Um, so again, you can buy this at Amazon. You can buy it at, um, I think Amazon's probably the best place, but you can also pick it up at Blip. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take a single sheet of this heavy duty watercolor paper. And why I'm using watercolor paper versus anything is that you can paint on it. You can, um, glue things to it. It's really sturdy. Uh, it's a very nice heavyweight and you can do a ton of different things on it. And so the standard size for a mortar board is nine and a quarter by nine and a quarter. So you get a, you can make a nice square on this page and we're going to first find center so that we can also make our hole for the tassel. So I'm using just kind of an old level as a straight edge and we're going to first draw from corner to corner because I've already drawn out my my lines here. We're also going to just kind of make a little X in the middle so that we can reference where our tassel hole is going to go, where middle is. All right, so middle is going to be right here. You're going to take a quarter and just kind of eyeball it and trace a little circle in here. That's pretty close. So this is going to be what you reserve um, for your tassel hole. All right. And we can just erase the rest of these marks as we don't necessarily need them. Okay. So now you have all this entire field to kind of work from. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this out. So I've already marked. This is a 12 inch by 18 inch piece of watercolor paper. I measured from three inches from this edge. And that'll give me nine and a quarter here, nine and a quarter here on this side. So I just measure using, you know, a ruler. So I'm measuring from one edge to nine and a quarter, making sure that I'm square by measuring again. And same thing from here, from this nine and a quarter. Ooh, I'm off. Oh my goodness. So that always measure once, twice, boom, one. And go over here. So that means my other measurements are off too as well. Nine and a quarter. Boom. So I have to redraw that center line. That's okay. Boom. All right. So now that changes everything. I'm going to redo this. Get my straight edge. Go from that corner to that corner. Redraw this corner to this corner. Redraw that. Okay. So it's just a slight difference, not too crazy. But again, I'm going to draw my 
circle. There we go. And erase extraneous lines. Boom. Okay. Now I'm going to. Thank God I measured that again. So now I have my mortar board. I'm going to use an X-Acto knife to cut this out. Have a hard edge here. Hi guys. Hi Bianca. And I'm going to cut out what will be the surface I'm gonna draw on. Okay. Okay. Boom. Now this is going to be the substrate that I'm going to be drawing whatever design I'm planning on doing for this. Clean that edge up. I went a little wide here. All right, now, before I go anywhere, I'm going to cut out this center. And again, the only thing you're gonna probably need to order from anything, or because stores are now opening, maybe you can get in to get some watercolor paper. There are several local stores in the Monterey County area that carry nice watercolor paper. One of them being Imagine Art Supplies in PG. We have Michael's in Marina. I think that's it, unfortunately. Okay. So now we also have a hole for our tassel. So now here's the thing. Because the way the orientation is for graduation caps, figure out where your top is and then your bottom. Okay, so I just put in a little X here, not an X, but kind of an upside down T. That's going to represent my bottom, and this is going to represent my top. So now I have this entire field to kind of play with composition-wise as to what I want to do. You can paint on this, you can draw on it, you can spray paint it, you can put stencils, you can do collages. This is a really sturdy um, substrate for you to draw on. You want the texture side up, because that's gonna take your medium, whether it be paints, whether it be spray paints, whether it be collage, it's gonna take it really well. You can buy pre-cut foam letters, you can do glitter, whatever. I don't encourage glitter because it's bad for the environment. And then the, on the smooth side, on the opposite side, what you want to do is you wanna get some double stick um, foam tape. And that is what you're going to use to attach to the actual mortar board. And I've been doing this for many, many years. Um, if you go to my Instagram and you can scroll down through the different posts that I've done, I've done a lot of different um, graduation cap decoration. So right now, this is part one, showing you how to cut out your nine and a quarter by nine and a quarter square um, substrate for putting onto your cap and doing all your decoration on this rather than trying to do decoration onto the actual uh, graduation cap, which can be difficult. But this way you can, you can really do some cool stuff with this stuff. And, and here's another thing, you can do designs and then cut them out and make more of a, like a stencil design if you'd like um, with the actual piece of paper versus decorating on top of it with paints and markers and things like that. So I'll be doing some more um, demonstrations as to what you can do um, for decorating your cap. If you have any questions, DM me. And uh, I'm gonna post this video on my YouTube channel for you guys to watch. It's a root, I realize I just did this in a couple minutes. Um, again, get some Canson heavy duty watercolor paper. This is cold press 140 pound, but any watercolor paper, as long as it's thick enough, will work. Um, yeah, any questions, you know, DM me, and I'll see you guys later. Hopefully you guys will check in with me tomorrow uh, for the live draw. It's the finale of Star Wars Week. Have a blessed day.